Um, we are going to now call to order the City of Gilroy Library Commission um, meeting on Wednesday, January 24th, and the time is 7.03 p.m. And we will start with roll call. Okay, uh, Chair Coverson Baxter. Present. Vice Chair Nushabadi. Present. And Commissioner Kim. Present. Oh, Secretary. Thank report. you. And now we will have Secretary's report. Okay. The Library Commission agenda was posted online and posted in the City Hall kiosk on January 19, 2024. Thank you. And now we will have approval of minutes from September 13, 2023. Move to approve minutes from September 13, 2023. Thank you. And all in a second. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. So we have three ayes. Yes. Motion passes. Please. Motion passes. Thank you. Um, and now we'll have introductions. Oh, approval of agendas. Oh, okay. We're gonna have approval of agenda. Excuse me. Would anyone like to make a motion to approve the agenda? I move to approve tonight's agenda. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, all in favor. Aye. Aye. So we have Aye. approval of three for the agenda. And now we'll move to introductions. Um, other than Marlene, but she can introduce herself uh, during okay. the county library. Okay, perfect. Welcome, Marlene. Thank you. Um, and now is there any public comment on items that are not on the agenda? None. None, okay. And now we will go to item eight, unfinished business, approval of 2024 Library Commission meeting schedule. Okay, so if you open your packet after the minutes uh, is the staff report for the schedule. Um, so this commission meets on the second Wednesday of the month, right. obviously, it is not the second Wednesday tonight. Uh, we had a reschedule for quorum purposes. Um, and historically, this commission has met either four or five times a year. So uh, as you can see at the bottom, and I think it leads into the next page, uh, these are the dates for 2024, the second Wednesday of the month. Um, so the, the dates in bold are basically similar to what you had met mm -hmm. when you met last year. Um, so it's up to the commission um, to <laughs> determine which which days work. Obviously, because there's only three of you, mm -hmm. if you see a date on here that uh, is bold and, and you're thinking, I'm not going to be able to make it, mm -hmm. this is the time to uh, let everyone know so we can ensure that we have a quorum so we don't have to reschedule. Right. Um. So what do you all think, commissioners, about those dates in bold? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. And the ones that are not in bold, we're not meeting. Oh, so the, the, the meetings in bold symbolize the meeting dates that you have, mirror the dates that you had last year. Okay. So last year you met five times. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's see here. There was, I think in 2022, you met uh, four times. So it, it has historically gone back to either quarterly or five times a year. Okay. Um, as you can see, there's a pretty big gap between May and September. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to you know, move things around. Right. And when do we present to the board? To I the, mean, the, the, the council? Yes. Thank you. Um, what month? Sure. Whenever, when did you do it last year? I believe it was September. September. Yeah, September. September. Okay. September. So it's, it'll probably be around that same time. September. So um, so what are your all thoughts of um, doing August instead of September? What, um, it's a summer in case you're planning stuff. Probably the first day of school. Oh, first day of school is around there. Okay. Yeah. They start, okay, that's fine. So, um, so what about us instead of doing September? So we have time to plan because I think last year we didn't have a meeting till after the yeah. presentation. 
Okay, so okay. instead of doing September, we'll do August. Okay, so um, I'm sorry, any other um, question? Not that it matters, but November 13th week, that Monday is a holiday. I don't know in case if anyone's going anywhere, you're not going to, mm -hmm. but otherwise I'm fine. Okay, so it looks like we have January, March, May, August, and November. That, sound, that sounds rhythmatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's well spaced out, yeah. So that's five meetings, right. including tonight. Right. Um, also, just FYI, at the next meeting, the mayor is going to be here. Oh, perfect. Yeah, she wants to do a, a, a presentation. She's visiting all of the commissions. Nice. And so she'll be here at the March 13th meeting then. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. So. Um. I don't. Need, can I make a motion or because I? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. So I make a motion that we accept. Um. Today, January twenty fourth, March thirteenth, May eighth, August fourteenth, and November thirteenth of twenty twenty four as our. Commission meetings for the year. I second. Okay, all in favor? So we pass with three eyes. Okay, great. And I'll send out a follow up email so everyone has those dates. Cassandra, if you could. Of course. No problem. <laughs> Thank you, Cassandra. No problem. Okay, um, and next public comment. Oh. Well, you know, since there's no one from the public, public. here. We well, fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we've already approved our, okay, schedule. So now we'll go to number nine, new business. Um, review Library Commission work plan for 2024-2025. Uh, okay, so if you go to the next report in your packet, okay, where it says review library Commission work plan for this year, 24 and 25. So this is a work plan that this commission has already uh, adopted. Mm -hmm. um, and again, since you haven't met in September, let's kind of review it because yeah. it's been a few months. Good point. Okay. Um, rather than hear me talk, does someone else want to go through it or do you want me to? Well, no? okay. <laughs> okay, all right. So number one is uh, review and provide feedback to the Santa Clara County Library System regarding its services and programs offered at the Gilroy location. So mm -hmm. that's something that obviously is ongoing. It's, 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 it's going. It's, it's been happening every year. Uh, this is something new. Participate in the annual California Library Association mm -hmm. conference, which will be held uh, in Pasadena in October, or the American Library Association. At the last meeting, you had approved that uh, you're going to send Victoria actually mm -hmm. to the ALA conference since it's going mm -hmm. to be in San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, I checked recently. They haven't um, released the registration okay. information yet. They haven't released the schedule yet. Um, and they haven't released the hotel information. Okay, so we no still, problem. I'll yeah. just make sure I'm free. Yes, yeah. So those dates plan plan to attend, um, and we will have that information. Actually, once it's released, Victoria, okay. I will I will notify you. Um, but then um, we can discuss it at the next meeting in terms Perfect. of which sessions you want to attend because you had mentioned you wanted to get input. Yeah, from absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And I'll be there to yeah. escort you through the, <laughs> the process. And they, awesome. they have a group membership discount. I wonder if we should piggyback on I don't know. If, I think you need at least five people. Actually, the Senate, our, our district has individual memberships that the staff pay for. We don't have a, a no, I'm institutional. Saying, oh, no, no. For the conference? You're talking about group rate? Yeah, like they have a group rate for the registration. Okay, let me look into uh, that. Yeah, yeah. So, something we'll look into. Okay. Um, okay, number three, promote the commission's purpose and library system to increase interest among prospective applicants to serve as commissioners. So if you recall at the last meeting, uh, we had talked about pu publicizing it more and we can talk oh, a little right. bit about kind of what's happened since then. Um, I know Cassandra and I, we worked on a flyer together. Right. Uh, we had put 
how to stack at the uh, at the senior center. I know there were some here, mm-hmm. um, and I think so, I don't know. If, I think Victoria, you had mentioned you you were going to come to a, an event and yes, and, and talk about it. I don't know if you had an opportunity to do that. Um, I did share at the we met in September, right? So that means mm-hmm. I shared it at the. Gilroy's Association of American University Women. We have a chapter now here. And and there were like eyes opening and excitement about the commission. And so they were, there was three that were going to come, but we it got canceled. So I will share it with them again because we have another event next month. Um, but I'm I'm confident that we'll have some potential members next month. I mean, at our next meeting okay there was someone who had expressed interest oh yeah i thought i had wrote someone into it yeah carla i don't remember her name either carla or michelle but she i think it was mm -hmm. color yeah so she submitted an application but Mm -hmm. i don't know what it was were scheduled but um i don't don't think the applicant was present for the council will consider oh wow are are you can you follow up with her oh that would be wonderful Thank you. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking as I'm listening to you. Is it possible to add to our agenda item a um, commission outreach where we can just share what we've done in the last two months? So it's a line item, so that we all know we're going to talk about it each month. So that's each. what number three will be. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So when we go over the work plan, we can elaborate. On that. Okay, perfect. Um, and when Cassandra is going through her events, not just past events, but upcoming events, maybe yeah. also a good opportunity to, oh, we should have someone speak at that. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's number three. Um, number four is provide <clears throat> recommendations to city administrator and mm-hmm. the city council regarding potential capital improvements mm-hmm. to the city's library facility based on the needs identified by county library staff and the Gilroy community um, to be funded by the remaining library bond proceeds. Mm-hmm. There is approximately $5 million available for facility upgrades. Mm-hmm. The library and city are identifying a recommended list of improvements and will present it to the commission at a future meeting. Yes. Is is there any update? Yeah, I'm happy to share one. Um, so we did uh, receive a preliminary um, proposal with a list of items uh, from our uh, library counterparts. Uh, I want to say that was back in October, November timeframe. Um, city staff administration has reviewed it and is generally in support nice. of moving the project forward. Um, what we are doing is additional due diligence because the city issued the bonds back in 2009 and 10. Mm. Um, it's those funds, uh, those bonds have been refunded since then. Um, there's additional due diligence. We need to talk to legal counsel from bond counsel as well as do additional due diligence from on um, how much of those proceeds we can actually use for this project's purpose. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, other ramifications, you know, because these are tax exempt bonds, we're not allowed to earn interest uh, beyond what we're actually paying out. Mm -hmm. So we have to um, do some calculations. So uh, we're completing that process here in the next couple of weeks. As soon as we have confirmation on what that amount is, then we'll be communicating that back out to our library counterparts to yeah. let them know this is the exact dollar amount um, that uh, that we have. And then um, Bond Council has given us the authorization that the proposal is in compliance with what uh, we intend to do. So once that's done, kind of puts a step on it. And then um, we'll we'll have uh, discussions again on next step yeah. to kind of formulate, you know, what, what it all really means. Uh, perhaps putting some formal cost estimates together yeah. and kind of presenting that back uh, back this commission. Nice. Yeah. So that's the update uh, on, on that. So, what is there in the proposal? You said you have received one proposal. I don't have it handy, but uh, it in, includes, um, gosh, uh, a few modifications to the south side of the facility, uh, relocating the community room, extending okay. um, the southwest corner, and then just furnitures and fixtures. Things like that. Again, very con- concept conceptual mm-hmm. at this point. It's not final. 
Um, but because we have something in hand, we want to be able to make sure that, um, you know, we get the blessings that we're not going to be in any kind of legal yeah, that's important. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we'll provide that feedback that, yes, you can do this, you cannot do this, um, then we'll go with that. Any yeah. idea on improving technology? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm, I think generally you'll see, perhaps, conceptually, I don't know if there's anything else you can share on that, but I, I didn't see specific, like, you know, tangible technology items, and um, I don't think you can use bond proceeds for that, but we'll have to identify funding sources to supplement yeah. some of those items. So not everything that's in there is going to be legible for bond proceeds. So I think um, either the city or the library might have to kind of join forces. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the bond usually covers building. Buildings. So like um, we call it FF and E. So like the in the inside is the library's responsibility, and like the building itself is more of the city's mm -hmm. kind of yeah. wheelhouse. So that in turn leads to you know this these funds are freed up for more kind of the larger improvements to the yeah. actual space as opposed to say what's inside it, mm -hmm. and yeah. then. Um, you know, it's the library's responsibility to build into their budget, you know, updates to the furniture and, and technology updates and things like that. So those things are being considered, especially with, you know, to kind of coincide with the bond monies yep. and also some um, updates and renovations that we're doing. Um, so all those things should come together really nicely in the same kind of similar time frame. So, um, you know, we'll, 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 we'll always... We'll get you a good life. <laughs> we're gonna build on it, right? Like, yeah. So, is, is the furniture can be can you use the money for furniture? Yeah. Again, I think it's too early for me to actually say, um, yeah. come out and, and make a statement on that again. And we'll have to kind of work through our bond council to kind of get those recommendations. Um, I think whenever we have something concrete, um, I'm sure there'll be an opportunity for the, the commission to review and provide feedback and, and uh, mm -hmm. things of that nature before anything mm -hmm. finalized. Technology enhanced furniture. <laughs> we'll take that feedback. <laughs> Thank you guys for the update. Um, okay, so the next item would be uh, new business. Um, you did the work plan, public comment, possible action. Okay, 9 2 selection of chair and vice chair of library commission. Yes, so um, every year the commission has an opportunity to elect a chair and vice chair. There are no limits, so you can be chair every year if you want. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the chair leads the meeting. Uh, the chair is the, the representative of the commission, uh, most notably during the presentation of city council every mm -hmm. year. Um, and then the primary role for the vice chair is if the chair is absent, although in this case, there will be no meeting. Right? Yes. <laughs> in other words, don't the be absent. The vice chair what? really has <laughs> a very limited role. <laughs> As of right now, until you have Yeah, we're going to get, because we need at least five commissioners, right? That's the most you can have. Yes, but if you have four, then you could still have a meeting with three, right? With three, right. Yeah. Well, we're going to get two more commissioners. Okay. <laughs> right, you're going to get gonna one, I'm going to get one. I'm a, I am just going to go make an announcement <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it for me. No, you. You can nominate me? Okay, <laughs> thank you. You're okay with that. That's fine. Okay. The time is just flying by. Yeah, I'm an I empty nester that. now, so I have some time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then I will second that nomination. Okay. And then what about for vice chair? Who would, which of you would like to be vice chair? Yeah, I think Saeed was doing a great job. Okay, Saeed, would you like to be vice chair? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I nominate, nominate Saeed for vice chair. I second it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so to make it easy for me, because I'm doing the minutes. Okay. Can someone do a, a, a one motion? A motion. Okay, I can do a one motion. Okay, I um, make a motion that Victoria Coverson Baxter will be nominated as chair and Saeed will be nominated as vice chair for the 2024 year. 
All in favor? Wait, we need a oh. second. Oh, we need a second. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so the motion is passed with three ayes. Yes. That's it. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on to um, number 10 library reports, Santa Clara County Library reports. Oh, here we go. Yes. Okay, so let me uh, hold it. Your telephone okay. presentations. <laughs> so, Cassandra, um, yeah. so Marlene will go first. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, good evening, commissioners and staff liaisons. Um, super excited to be here with you. It's my first time, and um, it's such a great um, evening to be here. And I am Marlene Iwamoto Rothschild, uh, one of the other deputy county librarians, and I have the pleasure of sharing highlights from the stakeholders report. Nice. Um, the reports are is in your packet. Um, we are kicking off the new year with Silicon Valley Reads. It's our annual community reading engagement program. And the theme this year is A Greener Tomorrow Starts Today uh -huh. and is focused on in, um, environmental sustainability. Nice. The official kickoff is at De Anza College on January 31st at 7 p.m. with four of the authors. And the event will be in person, but it will also be live streamed. And you can visit uh, siliconvalleyreads.org for more information, mm -hmm. including the list of books. Um, and then do you know somebody uh, who lives in our district who would benefit from our English language literacy program? Mm -hmm. That's also known as our reading program. Or maybe you're looking to um, give back and would like to become a tutor yourself. Mm -hmm. The reading program trains tutors and pairs them with adults who are looking to improve their reading, speaking, writing, and listening skills. Training for tutors is coming up, so please visit our website to see testimonials on how this program can change lives. Nice. Um, coming up in February is the annual SCCLD Forum on Saturday, February 3rd. Mm -hmm. You should have all received an um, email. This is an invitation only that. Yes. yes, fantastic. Our theme is Discover and Play. And then our keynote speaker is Jed Derryberry. And he is an education consultant and play expert who will share about the value and importance of play for so, all ages. Yeah. Um, it promises to be a joyful day. And if you haven't already done so, um, please RSVP. We certainly look forward to seeing you at the event. I have come to the end of my report. I'm happy to answer any questions. And I really do thank you for your time this evening. Thank you. I was just curious, the Campbell Library, did it open? So we had the groundbreaking oh. in the fall. So that was super exciting. Oh. There's a lot of um, construction going on mm -hmm. right now. So cool. Oh, I see completed in 2025. Yes. Yeah. It's a little ways off. Yeah. It's <laughs> moving forward, which is fast. Yes. <laughs> Same location? Same location, yes. Yeah. Cool. Was it just public authority? Well, the joint, he has a question about the joint powers authority. So, so what is it? It's our governing board. Um, are you interested in attending? We do have meetings four times a year, and there's actually one coming up. Um, this, oh, yes, tomorrow. Oh, wow, already <laughs> here. Tomorrow at noon. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow at noon. Um, what is the function of this? So, so the Santa Clara County um, has a governing board, which is the Board of Supervisors. The library is part of the county, but we also have our own governing board, which is the Joint Powers of Authority. Um, and we go to them when we are looking at policies, when it comes to approving budgets, um, other planning projects, strategic planning. Um, we it, And it's comprised of different officials from the, our different communities, mm -hmm. uh, including mayor, um, city council member. We do have a um, couple of the board of supervisors who are also on the JPA, um, Ellenberg and then Smidian um, that join us. So who appoints the board members? I believe it's, I believe it's the mayor that appoints in the city council. So our representative is Dion Barker. 
and how many are there in the book? Any more questions or comments? Well, thank you so much, and it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Um, and now we will go for our Gilroy Library report. Sure. Um, <clears throat> and thanks again, Marlene, for being here. She's a true champion of the system. Hey. She's come up through the ranks, and um, I'm really glad to be able to work with her, especially on our um, DEI initiatives. Um, and so it's really nice that you all trust me here as well. So yeah. I'll scoot over here. And so what do we want to do first? I guess I will do um <laughs> we'll do this one first. Bear with me. This is a no problem. Newer, a new computer experience for me. I think this button. Yes. Okay. So this is us. Uh the report now extends from September to December, um, because we had that little gap. So right. most of these numbers are kind of from our, uh, I believe they're taken from the date uh, for our November numbers. Um, so again, the numbers that I list here are usually just kind of a snapshot of what we've worked on. Mm -hmm. So they vary month to month, but this is a really nice way to kind of see where we're at and kind of take the temperature of where the library set it. So again, some updates. Um, we are adding some things. We're going to be adding an inclusive story time. That's something nice. that is very near and dear to our library staff here. Uh, reading with furry friends. We had a really nice holiday programming um, uh, roster. Uh, we're continuing progress on our children's spaces. That includes our enchanting spaces, which are is a really amazing opportunity that we have to expand our children's services, our children's mm -hmm. area. And again, this is a project that's going to work in tandem with, you know, uh, what is approved uh, through the city with our bond monies um, that could, uh, as Harjo mentioned, uh, include an expansion of our story time areas, uh, that nest area. Uh, we really want to make this a facility that looks forward to, again, as I mentioned, not just right now, but the next 10 years, mm -hmm. the next 15 years, and how do we serve the community? Uh, and we are at a really nice point where it's kind of this moment where we, for change, right. I know the city feels that as well. So it's really an exciting time. So we're really thankful that we have you all here to kind of come on the mission with us. <laughs> um, Free Zumba classes are back. That's huge. Gosh. That's huge <laughs> around here. Um, and then we are still offering the free after school snacks every day, but every Friday. And we have our uh, film screenings going on as well. All the fun stuff, kind of the number part. Uh, again, this is a snapshot of one month. Mm -hmm. um, we served almost 10,000 e items. Um, we circulated almost 39,000 items mm -hmm. in one month. Um, almost 4,000 of our unique GI followers were online with us using our online resources. And again, um, we have probably the highest volume of computer usage oh, wow. um, here in, I think, in the entire district. So we had 456 uh, individuals use the library or use um, computer time and then almost 120 children. So again, just some overviews of some programs. We had our bike safety day. We repaired 50 bikes, gave out 30 helmets. Wow. Um, we also did a bike rodeo, which is where children can <laughs> do like an obstacle oh, course to try out their bike safety. And then again, this is in partnership and collaboration with Turning Wheels for Kids, which is through the Department of Public Health and the Trauma Center uh, at Valley Health. So again, really stressing the importance of it. Helmets. Um, we really do appreciate and enjoy partnering with our county partners. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so much to share with the community through them. Uh, we did our sugar soul craft, always a favorite. We had over 200 people come to that. Um, 
and our ELR um, early literacy program with the YMCA. We do a story time with them and we had um, 60 participants over the course of one month and almost 500 class visits. As, wow. Or 500 uh, students attended our class visits, not 500. <laughs> <laughs> they were on it. I'm sorry, we had almost 500 students attend our class visits. Still not too shabby. No, that's um, cool. Again, our impact, oh, my slide messed up. Um, so we attended new events, the La Ofrenda event. That was the first time the city hosted that, and that was a wonderful event. We got to partner with them. Uh, we are doing, we concluded our ukulele sessions. That was uh, funded by um, a community member who is also very involved in music. So we're really thankful to have these kind of opportunities. Um, we did newer stuff that we haven't really done before. We did uh, Diwali crafts. We did an herbalism class with someone from the uh, California Academy of Hispanic Herbalism. Mm -hmm. So again, just really trying new things. Uh, we partnered with the AAUW and the Interfaith Community of South right. County um, to work uh, for in conjunction with the Proclamation Against Hate week um so we're really excited about doing these partnerships and just trying new things that connect us more with our city partners Good. and um the wider community right. um oh this is our oh. this is our story our um winter wonderland um we had the opportunity to have santa here uh shout out to my other half for oh. It's really a great opportunity. These are team volunteers who helped us that day, yeah. our staff who helped. Um, it's really a nice program. We did a story time. Uh, we did, and it's a winter wonderland. You could have yeah. chosen to take a photo or not. You yeah. know, we just had a nice background if, uh, with our book tree if uh, you're here. interested in that. But it was a really fun event, and we now know, like, a family photo at the mall Santa is a huge line and um, it's it's thirty dollars, forty dollars. Yeah. So how do we provide an opportunity it's for beautiful. families to enjoy the holidays with one another um with an event like this? So everyone got to take home a photo. Um and that also so we try to make this very uh it was very adaptive and inclusive to yeah. all of our family members. Um and really just to celebrate uh enjoying each other's company. That is awesome. I love the suits. I love yours and his. Those yeah, are good. 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 I like the cake thing over. That's oh, really cool. You know, I mean if I'm gonna be Mrs. Claus, it's gotta be it's gotta be faster than Mrs. Claus. I'm not wearing a kerchief on the head, like you gotta be family. No. Um Amazon, but <laughs> It works out really nicely. It's something that we're really thankful. And this was staff driven. The children's yeah. department really took this upon themselves to create something beautiful for the community here. So we're really thankful to be able to provide those opportunities and um, keep that stuff going. That's cool. It That'd be a fun. good picture to show at the October. I know it's far away. Oh, October yeah. meeting. That's good. Sure. Yeah. Since Christmas will be coming up soon by then or the winter. <laughs> winter, winter. Yeah. yeah. But, um, and again, you know, it was staff driven and it's more opportunities again. Uh, maybe I, yeah. I need, I need some more volunteers to help <laughs> us sit down and join us for the craft. So uh, the commission, you're always welcome to our events. We'd love to have you. We'd love to have you for some story times, maybe. I know. I'm going to do better this year. Um, you all are welcome to join us. And uh, this is just kind of a taste of the things that uh, the nice. staff, you know, put on and enjoy. So again, some great programming. Um, you are all cordially invited to our friends meetings as they oh, yeah, come up. Right. Uh, they are really excited to partner again more. Um, they have received some funds from an individual donor. So oh. they wanted to work with you all on ways they could spend those monies and, and how um, you all could really collaborate to That's spread nice. the word about their group and also your group. And so. Do you know when their next meeting will be? Their next meeting, ah, good question. Don't course, say tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, uh, they just meant in, in January, so they will meet again in February. It's usually the third Wednesday. The third Wednesday at the same time? 7 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, so they're a, a wonderful group, and um, they would love to partner with you all more. 
Uh, we're doing Resilient Families. It just started again. So I saw that it was packed in there. It's packed. We, yeah. I think we have about, we have over 50 families. That is awesome. We offer the program in English and Spanish simultaneously. Can you share a little bit about how that came about and how long you've been doing it? Yes. Resilient Families, we've probably been doing for at least seven, eight years. Oh, wow. It's Anne Morante's group, and they... Uh, ask you know originally they were kind of looking for a space and they used yeah. one room mm -hmm. and now we've expanded they use uh, one room uh, we do the programming in so it's a uh, parenting program and family programming wow. uh, the children are uh, they're fed a meal they share that together and then they kind of break out into their own groups the children go downstairs and have almost like a story time and a fun play time oh. And the parents get to kind of really work with one another and support so awesome. one another uh, in English and in Spanish. So wow. uh, it's a really great opportunity for us, again, to partner and really have some deep community impact. That's really cool. Yeah. What is Polydata? Yeah, so uh, we're doing a program with the Master Gardeners, and they're going to be talking about uh, pollinators. Let's see. I have the uh, flyer on here. Um, but that's coming up. We're doing African drumming. We have sure. uh, programs related to SVR, that uh, a zero waste cooking demo, nice. uh, mastering the online resume and job application. So uh, really, oh, we have our big AAUW climate change program that's coming up, I believe, it's this weekend. So all these programs are fixed at what is date? Yes, and I have flyers. Uh, hmm for these that I will also show you in the slideshow. Um, what about also the, on our usual calendars. What about the swap, don't shop? That looks fun. Oh, that's coming up too. So that's in correlation with our FBR programming um, as, uh, and we will be starting our ESL program in February. Uh, that's coming up uh, very shortly as well. Let me do my last slide. I think it is. Okay. So um, let me give you a brief, let me show you these slides really quick. So again, that at this, there we go. Oh, there's the ukulele. Oh, wow. So um, our ukulele programming, we're starting again February 17th, no experience necessary. That is too cool. Um, it's a really great program. It's very fun. Um, uh, you don't need to register if you're bringing your own ukulele. Um, so stay tuned for that one. We also have our um, drums and dance with Onye, Onye Maeche. He is amazing. The group is amazing. Uh, they do so many different concepts about how rhythm uh, and the historical context of traditional music and mm. the role it plays in Nigerian society. Uh, he performs with the drums, and then um, there's a question and answer session. So again, nice. I highly recommend that program. Again, our Silicon Valley Reads doing our zero waste chef cooking demonstration. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. They're going to be talking about fermentation, so making your own sauerkraut wow. and kombucha. That's good. It's pretty great. Yeah. Um. So swap it like it's hot. Uh, I am gonna let me write that down. <laughs> Really cool one. Um, yeah, that is so cool. Isn't that great? So basically, it's um, it's different. You know, community members bring things that they'd like to swap, and you can swap and shop. Uh, it's another way that we can kind of reduce our footprint. We know that um, uh, textiles and clothing, fast fashion, actually is what takes up the majority of our landfills. Oh, wow. so just kind of discussions on how we can stop swap over shopping. Time and kind of recirculate what we all already have. I love it. Yeah. I'm gonna register for that. It's okay. gonna be here, right? Of oh, course. absolutely, absolutely. Um, so that's on Saturday, February 24th. Um, oh, this is another cool one. Um, he, this is a local sustainable food advocate, mm -hmm. uh, Peter Ruddick. And he talks about how farmers, producers, and us as eaters, can kind of work within the environment to um, mm. make some positive changes. And he does really great discussions. So that's the part that um, we're all really looking forward to. Nice. 
and a reading challenge. Again, we're just trying new new ideas, mm -hmm. and we have new staff that are kind of helping us to do this. We're doing a reading challenge in January. You enter to win tickets to the Lightning Thief, uh, the Percy Jackson musical nice. um, that's going on. So uh, we're really excited to offer that as well. And I think that is on the show. No, no. Not really. Yeah. So we have our, sorry about that. Oh, our climate change. This is Saturday, February 10th. We're really excited about this one. Another great par partnership. Um, and it's with the Environmental Justice Group. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a panel discussion on ways you can make an individual difference, uh, even stuff about, you know, how to save money on your water bill, things like Ooh, that. Wow. And then uh, lastly, we have our citizenship classes coming up. Mm -hmm. They are bilingual. So another opportunity to kind of um, you know, assist the community and um, create some really great partnerships with the um, Gilroy Citizenship Education um, Partnership Group. That's so nice. We're really excited about that one too. Oh wait, one more. I got one more slide for you. There we go, pollinators. So again, this is uh, Master Gardeners. They're coming Saturday, February tenth. That's the end of the day. Um, and then we're talking about how to attract pollinators to your gardens. Wow. Um, so a full roster, you know how we do it here in Gilroy. It's always a full roster. The last thing I'm going to present really quickly is our story rec walk presentation. Um, so I was supposed to show you this in November, uh, but we're doing it a little bit later than that. Um, but this is a really nice opportunity and it might be a wonderful project for this group to kind of spearhead and kind of champion um so this is no i there you go. <laughs> there you go. so this is our presentation that we use to talk about story walks so um the story walk initiative Oh no. Okay, there we go. There you go. There we go. So um this is usually presented by our um was put together by our county librarian, and this is mm -hmm. just to talk about how we might be able to partner with the city again to provide an opportunity to just engage uh our patrons and our mm -hmm. citizens where they are at, uh, and to have discussions about literacy and kind of bring that into the play aspect of our parks and our rec spaces. Nice. So um, again, this just goes over our uh, mission statement and our kind of goals for our strategic plan. Again, our priorities are we welcome, we inspire, we listen, and we innovate. So mm -hmm. based on that, we are looking to kind of update these goals and use these goals to kind of push forward initiatives that we think would be really beneficial to the community. So again, um, we're trying to use innovative service models. We want to value the voices of our patrons um, and we're trying to build foundations of literacy while also creating larger um, program plans and innovate by fostering a culture of curiosity and opportunity. So along with that, so what is a story walk? So story walks are pair reading with an October activity. Uh, we take pages from children's books and attach them to signs which are installed along some sort of outdoor path. Um, so why is this important? So we really want to develop our community partnerships we want to promote physical activity mm -hmm. uh, while also pr promoting early literacy. Uh, we want to encourage families to engage with literacy together. And we know that the amount of time a family has to get together is condensed, right? Statistically, it's four hours a day. Mm -hmm. But we know that based on commuting, based on parents having multiple jobs, mm -hmm. based on uh you know, school schedules, everything is getting condensed. So mm -hmm. how do we provide something really engaging that fosters literacy, family, you know, collaboration and, and caring and partnership uh, within the family, and then also 
getting us physical and moving through our public spaces. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a way to do that. Um, every family member plays a vital role in helping children develop a joy of learning. And story walks provide an opportunity for families to build values, traditions, and make memories. So this is kind of an opportunity for us to further those um, kind of in a very innovative, but kind of, you know, straightforward way. Nice. So these are um, story walks installations that we've previously had. They're all temporary. Oh, cool. So the idea is you go through the panels one by one. Yeah. You notice different things while it also tells a story that um, is impactful and fun and open-ended so that families can, you know, explore the stories and the space mm -hmm. in conjunction with one another. Uh, so future plans, you know, uh, our foundation role would be funding the hardware and the installation um, and working with funding partners. Uh, we want to be collaborative with the city to see, you know, what's a great space for you all? Where do you think, uh, where are you? I know the city is looking at kind of doing improvements to your public spaces and nice. your, your park spaces. So, you know, how can this fit in with those overall goal, goals as well. So we would maintain the signage and then we'd also do the regular rotation of the stories. Um, so then for the city, um, we're, <laughs> we're asking for a public space and then just collaborating with you all on um, hopefully installation in the place that you see as the best fit. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Uh, so I, I Matt, can I ask a question? Which yeah, sure. is um so this, this <laughs> seems like a well it is a wonderful idea and I'm you know uh, even collaborating like you said with parks and recs and so forth. So for something like this to happen, um the city has to agree on it first, the council. How does that work? Yeah, so basically I'm kind of presenting to you, and this would this would be like the frames that it would be, and there's specs yeah. here, right? Um, so basically I'm I'm presenting to you all to kind of get your interest level and kind of feedback on it. And I'm also really presenting to Adam as well to kind of see how it would be possible to partner on something like this. The cost would be very minimal to the city. Yeah. Um, but I know, you know, we, we want to make sure that we're working in with the areas that you want to also update and, and what spaces are you mm -hmm. interested in. Um, but this is another way that we really are trying to expand our collaborative partnerships with the city. And we're thinking this might be a really great way to... I think that's great. ...to do that. Okay. So Christmas Park would be a place for this. Christmas... Park. Oh, Christmas Hill Park. Okay, I'm thinking of Christmas in the Park. Okay, Christmas Hill Park. Yeah. Um, I'm also thinking of access, you know, where like everyone may not have access to Christmas Hill Park, but but could it be in more than one place? I mean, it's I mean it's because well, yeah, as a commission, we can point. make recommendations to the <laughs> so yeah. I said as a commission, we can make recommendations to city council for things that we think would help the library or help bring access. I think this is something that we should share. I think the walkway, I don't even know what it's called, but where it starts is like on Third Street where the dog the Heartland Dog oh, Park yeah. is, that little walkway all the way down there. I mean that's I like that. A lot of families hang out yeah. there. Christmas yeah. Hill Park, I guess if you want to revamp it. Yeah. That would be a good thing, but I don't know. I think it might be banned mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I think it's no, but it's great feedback because the, the part that comes to mind for me is always, oh, we should just put it at San Isidro, but I love other the other options and the mm -hmm. other ideas. Um and again, so this is kind of you know high visitation, mm -hmm. um like you're like you're mentioning that third street area because it has you know main entrance and that nice pathway where families are it would be about 17 frames mm -hmm. but this can be adjusted and then an approximate length so again um this is just some kind of these are just kind of ideas that we have um i believe that there is a way for us to like you know, drop an MOU and, and have those things kind of ready as well but um yeah i just kind of wanted to share that that's 
um, an initiative that we really want to kind of move forward and we could use your support behind I it. Like that. And then also, you know, Adam and Marjo, like whatever you feel like the next steps for us to be able to present this or find space for it would be really, would be really great. And maybe Parks and Rec Commission. Yeah. You know, yeah. As you had mentioned. So is funding already secured for the frames? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, oh, that's and that would include installation and I believe so, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wow. You thought about putting it in any schools. So I believe the idea was to be more of a public kind of access point. Mm -hmm. Um uh but I mean it's always something to consider, right? Well, can there be more than one? Is there funding for more than one? I think at this point we it's just one. funding for for one, yeah. but that doesn't mean that that you know I mean if one works great, you know there's there's opportunities to to see where else we can take it. And again, the city, you know, when you're not not but you know if if this is something that becomes worthwhile, mm -hmm. then maybe we can make more of an ask when we do our budgets and, yeah. and when you all go to consider those things uh, and you really want to kind of champion this idea there are opportunities for additional funding and right like once the stands are in then we're just right. looking at content right? right so if we the the district's putting up the initial funds for those initial you know the initial installation and the initial items you know if the commission you know we can take a look at how they want to fund those other pieces and how do you determine what story We'll That's started. a good question. So um, there's, it comes with a lot of them. The only kind of, we're trying our best to pull kicking and screaming maybe, <laughs> but pull people into, you know, newer communities. And so right now our current selection of bilingual material is smaller. Yeah. So we're trying to really collaborate on creating, on getting great stories, not mm -hmm. just the ones they have, but really pulling something uh, amazing. So that's kind of, that has a lot to do in determining what we put in there, mm -hmm. is uh, we want to make sure that the stories are bilingual. Um, so that's kind of how we look at it. But, you know, I mean, how involved do you want to be? If, you, if you'd like to take a look at what's available, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure we can make those you know, you can look at them, and and since we would know kind of the time base that we're rotating them on, right? You can so, always pass them, yeah, feedback for us based on the catalog. We can, I right. said, you yeah, look through it, you know. Yeah. So, so from the, so what I understand is the stands come, or there's pre-selected books that come already in the stand. So, so the stands are, they're just stands. They're just stands. And then stands. we fill them. And then we fill them. Okay, then they get filled. And so there is a, there's, so the books haven't been picked yet. No. Okay. I I would be interested, it, 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 is is our next meeting too far away to, to bring the selection or choices we might be probably. able to bring a sample a sample's fine yeah it could even be just a printout of what the books are yeah sure so i think we might um we might be able to i might be able to bring a sample um because again we're we're kind of trying to find a good solution for having more yeah. robust bilingual material um but yeah i can you can bring a sample i believe for sure mm -hmm. But I really like the idea you mentioned. I think that's a good that would be a good spot because yeah. it's it's different than just a park. It's mm -hmm. kind of that that walkway of yeah. mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people yeah. use that space yeah. and even when there's events downtown. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice space to consider. But I, yeah. that's why I I, I really um, I appreciate your feedback. And then a great marketing plan to get kids and families out to read them. <laughs> yeah, you know. Madam Chair, would you like to propose something? So you said we recommend something to the... Oh, you, oh, you mean to bring... Oh, say that again? To support this program. So if you want to vote something and form a resolution... So well, well, I think you guys already have approval to do it, right? 
Well, next so step. so uh, the library has secured funding. Yeah. The next step is to determine the location and the story, and then how will that process work? Where do we go next? And yeah. Uh, you know, we can follow up with Cassandra in the meantime, and then at the next meeting, report back. Yeah, I think that sounds Here's good. Maybe a, perhaps a, a plan, a plan of yeah. action. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. Because this is not going to happen right away. Yeah, well, I, that, I, that's a wonderful <laughs> idea, and I would like to see two of them <laughs> <laughs> in two different locations. But they, but they rotate the stories, which I think is Oh, really they wrote, they don't okay. Go Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so they don't yeah. go still. They rotate. Three a year. Yeah, three times a year. Well, I wonder, I mean, this is, we could talk about it at another time, but I wonder if there's organizations that would donate, like how people contribute benches, they would donate one of those for another, you know, you have them in four that's different parts of Gilroy in a... That's a good idea. Yeah, and, you know, um, we have been having more discussions with um, local community members about, you know, kind of philanthropic opportunities yeah. and we really want Whoops. to make sure that you know we're having those discussions um because you know there's there's people who are interested and there are people who have been here for many generations right. who maybe we haven't contacted as often for to see if they want to participate in these types of events but i think that's a great idea to kind of open it up to eight you know yeah what's the cost of funding that about it is going to be on the just an idea five thousand i think for for the initial everything. everything out the door i don't i don't have to figure off the top of my head but i think it's it's less than six less than six yeah okay wow that's, yeah that's really cool so a book is like a thousand bucks the stands and installing like and maybe and everything. I think it's for everything. For everything. Hardware, and installing the, them and yeah, maintenance. Yes. Any idea? Because you have to maintain them, right? I think a book may be kind of pricey just because you have to get its license. Okay, so that's where it comes into play. So, yeah. but um, I do not have exact okay. on those. Yeah, numbers. I can get them for you if you'd like. Yeah, that was um. Uh, and one more thing on it, did I? But I think I forgot what it was. But wow, that was that was the most discussion we've had in a while. <laughs> we yeah, like that one. Though. Yeah. Hey. All right. <laughs> that was cool. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Um, two questions. Yes, sir. The presentation. So the first part of your presentation, when you give the statistics, so what was the period for it? So what period did it cover? So that was for the month of November. Just the month of November. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my second question is, I didn't see any program for celebrating the Black History, Black History Month. So do you have any program for that? Yes, those um, Black History Month is coming up. So we usually have cooking programs and we have the drumming program. Uh, so those are to celebrate Black History Month. We always do our drawing and our uh, scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. So, and we usually have a story time. We will have a story time that focuses on mm -hmm. Black History Month. Yeah. Nice, thank you. Yeah, of course. And uh, March is Women's History Month. Yeah. You know, um, so we really try to we keep updated. Coming down, keep down a, a theme a month. <laughs> At least. We always find something. I mean, yeah. there's so many different themes. There's so many cool things. You know, we do Jazz Month. We do um, last this year we also did um like rap history and hip hop history because it was nice. kind of the 50th yeah. anniversary of you know kind of the beginnings of hip hop mm -hmm. so we've had lots of opportunities to really highlight and showcase all the great things that uh, the community has and has to offer nice. yeah so the the families point? is just uh breaking yeah. up now we <laughs> might be even be able to snack a slice of pizza but yeah. um yeah so <laughs> I like uh, pizza. Yeah. Twice, right? Remember the last time we had some meeting, you took me downstairs and there was all that food. I don't know what that was, but it was delicious. <laughs> okay. So now any more comments from commissioners? Any staff comments? Um, any future agenda items? Um, how about following up on the story? The story, sure. yeah, mm -hmm. book thing. Um, yeah. And and can we put on there also update on outreach for future commissioners? 
So anything us three can do or anyone can do to bring someone next week, next in two months, <laughs> bring a friend. Swap a, instead of swapping yeah. clothes, no, we're gonna swap a, yeah. Now that one girl had a medical just thing. Just make sure okay. that she takes care of live in, in city limits. In city limits. Oh, we that's a good have, one. Hey, we have people apply and they actually live like oh, just yeah. outside the city. Oh, and and even though their, their address says mm -hmm. Gilroy, they're not a resident. Thank you for saying So we don't that. want to have any stay on this time. Yeah, I did not. Thank yeah. you. I wouldn't have thought of that. So oh, like, oh, they live in Gilroy, but oh, so you could have a Gilroy address, but not be a... That's oh, so what, what is the city living? I did not know. So how do you find where the city living? Uh, Call the city. <laughs> I think there's something on, on the commission. If, if, you know what? If you just email me their address, I'll... You'll tell us. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there, there's a website. I know. I uh, was okay, so yeah, interested to apply for the position, but I just like their issue. They're out of the city. I just see but then you have to figure out. Okay. What's, what's, the, what's the rule of thumb? If the sheriff comes, you're unincorporated. Mm -hmm. And if the police what? come, it's it's you're within a city limit. Nothing. That's how you know you're oh, unincorporated. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I grew up on the east side of San Jose. That's all I know. Like your that means you. Thank you. I've done a show today. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, Sumana wasn't eligible to be a council member. Commission member then. That's what her address was. What's that? The Diego Golf Club. Oh. Oh, maybe you're talking about Eagle Ridge. Eagle Ridge, Eagle Ridge is in the city. Huh? Yeah. Eagle Ridge is in the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, what a wonderful way to end our meeting mm -hmm. <laughs> on city limits. Okay, so we're going to adjourn our library commission meeting at 8.05 p.m. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.